Okay, Dick, this is a twist on that old saw about the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. This was, I guess, the reverse because you had the dismount problem and you came back with a long face and then seconds later you heard that you had won it all. Well, uh, it's difficult to say that, you know, I, I did very well, but to me, my most important thing is to finish up high bar, which is my best event, and to finish up with a, a very good routine. I like to finish out with a good note. But you left school early to train for events like this. So this has to be kind of the, the icing on the cake, kind of sets you up for next year in pretty good shape? Yes, I feel that it is. Um, I made a, a big decision going to uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and training with Ed Birch at Gold Cup Gymnastics. And uh, uh, I am going to school, and uh, I'm just competing purely for the United States Gymnastics Federation. Speaking of that, realistically, your chances, the men's chances, to make an impact in Barcelona next year? I think we have a big impact. If we can train very hard together as a team, 100%, and there'll be no discrepancies in, in coaching, I think that our team has a very good chance of doing well and possibly even meddling. And we're talking Russians, we're talking Chinese, and we're talking the major players here in international well, gymnastics. Yeah, but we have a good team also. You know, uh, capitalism can still do it. We can still do it. <laughs> We've got a lot of incentive behind us, I mean, in front of us, and uh, I think the guys on the team are young, and we all really want it. Congratulations. Keep smiling. Thank you. Great team, Oz. Let's go back to Dick. <laughs>